In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to add the Google Analytics tracking code to your Adobe Muse website. And we'll test it and make sure that it's in there and, and that it's in all your pages. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to HTML, is download the HTML5 boilerplate. The only reason I'm going to do this is because I don't want everyone seeing my Google Analytics tracking code. If you were to add it, you would go to Google Analytics. You know, you could type it in the Google search and just go to Google Analytics and set up your analytics uh, account. And then they give you a special tracking code to add into your website. Uh, the HTML5 boilerplate has that code with no tracking ID in it. So it's safe for me to use. You know, I, I just don't want to have everyone see my tracking ID code. So I'm going to go ahead and download the HTML5 boilerplate. For those of you who don't know what the boilerplate is, uh, don't worry about it. It's more, you know, custom code based. And for me, it's just to, to get the, uh, the tracking code. So I'm going to open it here. I'm going to open this index uh, HTML. And this is the Google Analytics that I want to put into my Adobe Muse website. You see right here, this is the tracking ID. It right now just says UAXXXX. I could actually use the script and just replace this with my personal tracking ID that Google Analytics gives me. Uh, so for now, I'm just going to copy it because this is what we want to put into our Adobe Muse website. And I'll just close all this. And next, I want to open Adobe Muse. Okay. I'll just close this and I'll create a new site and click OK. Now I'm going to put the code in the master right here. What this will do is that every time I create a new page, uh, because it's in the master, it will add the code to the, to the page. So every page I create uh, includes the code that's in the master. So I'll go ahead and open the master. And to add the code, let me just move this over here and this over here. There. To add the code, I'll just click on uh, page, page properties, and we want to put it in the head section. So anything we put into here is going to go into the head section of our HTML, and I'm just going to paste that. Uh, best code practices are, are, you know, to have it in the bottom as a bottom script. Uh, you know, there's different views on this, whether it's better at the top or the bottom. I say if you don't have a lot of code or you don't, you know, put a lot of heavy code into the site, you're you're probably safe. You're, you're safe having it in the head section. It's not going to, you know, really do anything to the website. So for these purposes, and because Adobe Muse only lets us put it in the head section, we're going to go ahead and put it in the head section of our website. And you know, there's ways to test the speed of your site, but this is not going to make or break the site if it's the script is in the head section. So, uh, okay. So I'll just keep going. And so we added the the script to the head section of the Adobe Muse site. And we just click OK. Again, we're in the Masters section of Adobe Muse. And so what this means is that because we put it in here, the home page actually has the code in it. Uh, and if we click Create a few other pages, and the way we know that this master is attached to these pages is if we right-click Master, and it has a master, which is this right here. If there's only one master, it defaults to the one that the only one that you have here. So we click on here, masters, a master. We click on here, master, a master. And I'm just gonna name these page two and page three. And just to show you that the code is in there, I'm going to export this website. And I'm gonna you know, name it test site and desktop muse Google Analytics. That's a folder I created earlier. And I'll click okay. And I didn't put anything in the website, so it's just a blank page. But if I right click, inspect element, go to my head class right up here, and here's my head class, and then custom head HTML. There's the script right here. If I hit the drop down arrow, there's my Google Analytics code. And it actually puts this script in here as well. I'm not sure if Adobe Muse does that or is it or if it's because we put the script in here. Either way, the script is in there, and that's 
all you really need to focus on is that the script is in here. So I'll close that. And we'll go into the folder too, just to make sure our other pages have that as well. So I created uh, index, page two, page three. Let's open it with the text editor. There it is, there's our script. As you can see, that, that Google Analytics script that we had, that we saw in the website isn't in this code here. So I'm thinking it's something that either, yeah, I think that this code actually gets, they, gets brought up to the top. So um, it does something here where it just makes it work within your website. And if we go to page two, TextMate, again, it has the script right there. And page three, TextMate, and there it is. There's the script. Now that's all because we added it to the master, uh, the master page here. Let's say we didn't want the script in all of the pages. We'll just go back here, go to page, page properties. I'll just, you know, cut it out of here. Go here, and let's say I only want it on the home page. So I click on the home page. Let me do that again. I did that kind of quick. I click on the home page, go to page, page properties, and here uh, it has metadata, has description keywords, and our head is right here. So this is where we paste it to get it into the head section of this page. And we click OK. And I'm going to save. Actually, I don't need to save right now. Um, and I'm going to file, export as HTML, click OK. And let's check our code. Okay, so if we go to our index HTML, there's our script. If we go to page two, there's no script in there. As you can see, there's that Google Analytics is not in there. If we go to page three, the Google Analytics is not in here either. And just to see, let me inspect element tag it doesn't put the Google Analytics here at the top either so that code we put in actually puts another script right at the beginning of the uh, right after the head tag uh, which is an interesting um, I'm guessing it's the way that Google Analytics works to track your website the best you know putting that that script right at the top and then we have that other script that we inserted at the in the head tag you know it's all part of the same script but you know it works it puts it in kind of different places it's a little bit more technical and you know you can uh google more about google analytics um, so again if we open page three as well it doesn't have the uh, google analytics there but if we open the index which is was the home page oops and we inspect it go to the head tag and we have the Google Analytics right up here. And we have the custom script right here. So what I was saying earlier is that this and this go together. By putting this here, it puts this script up here. So it's the way Google Analytics work is how I'm going to say it. Okay. And that's about it. That's all for this video. Uh, if you have any more questions or, uh, you know, or you'd like to set, you know, leave a comment, feel free to do so. If you like this video, please subscribe uh, to the video below. One last thing, because I did notice for anyone who did pick this up, because I'm very meticulous and, you know, all that developer stuff. You will notice that down here, it said uh, the requested URL was not found on the server. That's because our site is is being built locally once you upload this website to the internet your google analytics will work and you will not get this error message so don't worry if that happens just you know remember once i upload it to the site everything's going to function properly um, it's just that the code is looking for um you know a site i think i believe it's this one um because it's saying oh you know i'm on the internet the world wide web but this site is being built locally, so we get, you know, that error. Uh, okay, that's just kind of the developer in me talking, but that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe. 
Uh, there'll be many more videos to come, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.